Hey, this is Rob over at thebestiosapps.com and I just wanted to go through today and review a couple of Apple's iWork apps and the first one is, of course, uh, we're going to be getting started with Pages and I'm going to just walk you through a little bit about the app, probably not all of the features, but just a little bit so you can get an idea of it and to show you why I think this is pretty much the best word processing app for the iPad and also the iPhone and iPod Touch as well because they just released it as a universal app in the latest update and added a couple new features that we're going to actually be seeing today that you might notice as a difference if you do have the Pages app, you might notice there's a difference in this between the older version and the latest update that they did. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, when you launch Pages, you'll be taken to a window like this, which looks a little bit different than the original window like you saw in the last version of uh, Pages for the iPad. Um, you'll see now there is able ability to have folders, which you can see here I already have some folders. And inside these folders you can have different um, files that you've taken. And let me just give you an idea of how that would be made. You can touch and hold and they start uh, shaking just like they would on the home screen for your apps. And you can now take one and you can drag it and put it into a folder. Now, the cool thing about this though is, is if you want to select multiple pages, like you can see I just did there, you can actually select one, click, and they turn yellow around the outsides. And you can drop them into a folder, all of them. That's a pretty cool selection thing there. Kind of almost like something they should do for apps when you're wanting to move a, a series of apps into a specific folder. So um, that's just the, the folder option, which is really cool. You can name the folders and do everything, which is a really needed update to the Pages application. So um, also up here, you can, you can sort them by name, uh, you know, A to, A to Z, or by date, the latest one that you've been working on. Um, so that's done. So now you can also, if you want to delete one, when you press on it, you can you can um, delete up here as you can see the trash. Um, uh, and I have two documents selected there, one document, delete document. Okay, so that's basically what you can do with on the, on the home screen here, the first thing you'll see when you come up to pages. Now, uh, to be able to create a document, you click on the plus symbol. And you can copy documents that you've had on your computer or different places, but right now we're going to be creating a document that was on, right on the iPad. Now there's different templates that you can choose from. And uh, today let's just go with uh, my favorite castles here. Now right now I'm running this in landscape mode. It can also be in portrait, and, um, but just for the sake of the video, it, it's uh, best in landscape mode. Um, so here we have a, a document that was already made. It's two pages here, as you can see, by separated by this line. And so it's a two-page document. And, um, and just how you can see how they have their name at the bottom over here, report on the castles in the footer, that can actually be done up here in your document setup, which will allow you to be able to set headers and footers for, like, let's say you're doing a classwork and you need to be able to have those different things set. Um, so uh, let's just go ahead and go over a couple of the cool features of Pages. Now, uh, just to edit, you just click in, and um, you can select like a whole entire area of text or something like that. By uh, like, if I wanted to select this whole entire area, um, I can copy and different things like that. I can just get rid of it. Uh, I can type something else. L let's just change all of this to um, best uh, iOS, and it, see, it automatically corrects for you apps and um, I can even go in and I can see um, I can I can click on this I can say select and I can say more and it'll give me even a definition of of the word um, which at this time with the keyboard up it's a little bit uh, that was must be a little bit of a bug there um, it, so so you can do that as a definition this is a dictionary built right in which you also probably would see if you have iBooks um, that's kind of from over there. I wish they would actually do that as a universal thing throughout all the apps on the, on the iPad, but it's not there yet. Um, okay, so if you're taking pictures, you, you can put pictures right into your, into your document here, and you can uh, turn them by just selecting them with your two fingers, and um, change the size of them by just going bigger and smaller on the edge, which is pretty cool. Um, now, if I want to change this picture, since, since we set up here best iOS apps, I can click on this and I can go to my camera roll and I can import a uh, picture and it just pops it right in 
And I, let's let's pop in a couple so we can make it look like exactly like we want it to with all the different apps. And um, so here we have a couple different cool things. Now, if I want to edit the mask for this, I double click on it, and now I can like move this around inside that. Or if I want to change it so that the whole entire thing is inside my my uh, frame, I can do that by just moving all of this around here with a little blue edges. It's pretty cool that you can do that. Um, then you push mask, and now we have the picture set. And um, if I want to move this up or just click on it, move it around. So it, it's really easy to use. And in a lot of cases, it's actually better and easier to use than a word processing program on your computer because it's just so much more interactive with the touchscreen display. I really like that about this, this program. So uh, let's show you how you would actually, if I wanted to import an image, let's say I wanted to have these down here at the bottom and I wanted to have them a little bit smaller and I want to have like a, an image at the top that would uh, kind of be like the full, like this full width here, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Um, so let's go up here and we're going to go to media, camera roll, and we're going to import this image here. Okay, so now we see that it is imported itself and um, it has, uh, uh, it's this little border around it, right? Well, we want it to match the rest of this document here. So we click on this and um, we can do different borders. See, like it, right now it's selected with this blue border up here. There's a little tape one and different ones like this. Anyways, we want to have this one here to kind of go along with the match of the other ones, right? And um, so and, and we can even, we can uh, change different things. Like uh, this is going to allow us to flip this picture, like upside down, flip it horizontally. Um, edit the mask. The wrap here is for text. You know, if you wanted your text to be automatically wrapped around it and different things like that, or just stop and be above and below it, uh, you can change that and move your space between your picture that will set the space for your text. That's all cool right there. Um, and uh, like I said, style. And then in the style, you can actually edit this style, make your border around you. If you want to have a really thin border or a really thick border, um, you can change, you could have little line borders and like something like that. We, let's make it really thick. Uh, see, that's kind of like the, the original one they had on there, which they actually put on there themselves, like a blue border that was like that. Um, and uh, you, can, you can put a little shadow on it. So you can even have the border plus the shadow, which is pretty cool. And you can have it in different areas. It gives you like four different options up here. You can have reflection on it which we could, it actually doesn't look good with the border. So let's turn the border off and just have a cool reflection to even take off the shadow. So now you have this really cool reflection going on here, uh, kind of like you see on Apple's website, right? Which <laughs> looks like they already have a reflection on this image in the first place. But anyways, that's really cool that you can do that. So uh, now I'm just like, nah, I don't, you know, I, don't really, I forget that. I don't want that picture. So you just click on it, push delete. Um, so we have now our little document here, uh, which... Let, let's let's go ahead and turn off that uh, text wrap that we have here because I, I don't want it to uh, push my text away when I get that close. See, so now now it gives me a little bit more space here. So now I have best iOS apps. I'm cool little pictures and everything. Now let's say I want to take this and I want to share it. Uh, you know, I I want to send it to my friend uh, PDF document page or something. So um. Um, oh, and by the way, that's full screen if you want to be able to edit this without having the little bar at the top. Um, so now I say share and print, right? Now from this place, I can do many different things. I can email the document. I can print it. I can share via iWork.com, which is, I'm not sure if many people use it. It's still considered a beta version right now, but I really hope that they start doing that more because people, you, you can share, um, you know, keynotes. You can share um, different things across with different people, different users all over anywhere on the internet, um, which is really cool. So I can email this document right now, and it says to me, what do I want to do? Do I want to save it as a pages, a PDF, or a Word? It's really nice because uh, with pages, you can email it back to yourself um, instead of actually having to do it through your whole iTunes thing. You can email it to yourself. You can edit it on pages on your computer. Or if you have a PC and you're running Windows, you can uh, edit it and save it as a Word document or as a PDF, which is pretty much openable on um, any computer that we see. Uh, out there and really nice because I mean in that case you won't be able to edit it but it, it is really nice to be able to do so we're just gonna let's just say I'm going to export it as a PDF bam it just has me I can send it right from anywhere from right from my iPad to one of my friends um, so that's just built right in there really nice 
Uh, okay, so now let's just go ahead and just go over some of these features up here. Uh, we have our, we can change our font, which we can just, let's say I want to select this whole entire area here. Oops, not all that. Um, so just select this text. I want to change the font, okay, so I want it to be Academy engraved. Um, and then you can even, you can even select it and um, have it be, change it to be, you know, a different font size or, or bigger, smaller. I can make it really small, you know. Um, I can change it to be bold and uh, underlined. Now, all, not all fonts support the bold and italic. Um, and then I can, I can even change, right here, it allows me to change the align left, align right, justify, you know, um, different things like that. And uh, that's really cool. And also, if I'm typing underneath it, and I, and I have something that I want to type, um, I can actually, let's say I want to be able to tab this in, right? I can push this and it will give me a tab. Okay, so if you want to indent something uh, small like that, you can actually tab it in like with this little tool here. So it, and also you have column breaks and, and page breaks and all that. So you could actually make a page breaker there and go to your you know third page and fourth page. So um, basically you can do pretty much anything on here that you would do on a normal uh, word editing program on your computer, uh, like Microsoft Word or anything. And um, this application is available on the uh, App Store for $9.99, along with uh, Keynote and Numbers um, as well. So I really highly recommend this app. Um, it's pretty much, I mean, you can do tables from in here. You can do charts right from inside pages, um, shapes, all this different stuff. So really, you have the very, very highly developed app right here, which of course is by Apple. So they do great work, and um, I recommend. It's totally worth the $9.99, and uh, this app is just pretty much the best app for word processing you could do. It's it's a total desktop word processor right in your hands that you can use. So uh, that's it for this review. And uh, if you have any questions or, or comments, uh, feel feel free to ask. And um, Visit our website, uh, thebestiosapps.com, and uh, you know if you guys want us to review certain apps, let us know, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, leave comments and everything. Like our video here, and um, we should also in the in the future we're going to show some uh, app reviews for pages on the iPhone as well, and it's just kind of show you a little bit of what it looks like on a small screen if you don't happen to have an iPad, and. Um, also, I'll be doing a review uh, with Keynote and Numbers as well. So, uh, yep, that's it. That's all for this one.